zero defect. The phrase zero defects was first coined by Philip Crosby in his 1979 book titled Quality is Free. Crosby's position was that, where there are zero defects, there are no costs associated with issues of poor quality. As a result, quality becomes free. In a world driven by quality, the goal is always zero defects. But what does this concept really mean? Zero defects. It's not just a number, it's a mindset. It's about striving for perfection in everything we do. Zero defects is a mindset that emphasizes the importance of getting things right the first time. It aims to eliminate defects, improve product or service quality, and reduce costs associated with waste. It's about creating a culture where each member of the team is committed to producing a flawless product, time and time again. Zero defects is a standard. It is a measure against which any system, process, action, or outcome can be analyzed. When zero defects is the goal, every aspect of the business is subject to scrutiny in terms of whether it measures up. Zero defects is based on the belief that if something is worth doing, it's worth doing right the first time. It's about setting high standards and refusing to compromise. It's about taking pride in your work and knowing that you've done your best. But zero defects isn't just about the end product. It's about the process. It's about continuous improvement and never settling for good enough. Dot. It's about identifying potential problems before they occur and taking preventative action to ensure they never do. It's about fostering a culture of open communication, where everyone feels empowered to raise concerns and offer solutions. Zero defects. It's a lofty goal, but it's not unattainable. It's about commitment, hard work, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Because at the end of the day, zero defects isn't just about creating a better product, it's about creating a better world. There are some steps that can help you adopt a zero defects approach. First is emphasize the importance of quality throughout the organization. Train employees to focus on quality in every aspect of their work and encourage them to take pride in delivering defect-free products or services. Second is define quality standards for all processes and products, including metrics to measure and monitor quality. Ensure that everyone in the organization understands and follows these standards. Third is conduct a thorough analysis of all processes and products to identify potential sources of defects. Once potential defects are identified, develop preventive measures to eliminate or reduce the risk of defects occurring. Besides, once potential defects are identified, develop preventive measures to eliminate or reduce the risk of defects occurring. Continuously look for ways to improve processes and products to achieve even higher levels of quality. Encourage employees to provide feedback and ideas for improvement. Last but not least, build quality into your performance expectations. Encourage your people to think about how they can achieve zero defects and reward them when they're successful. So, let's strive for perfection. Let's aim for zero defects. Because when we do our best, we make the world a better place. And that's the power of zero defects. A world of flawlessness, a world of excellence, a world of zero defects. Things have moved on since 1979. Since then, there have been several waves of quality improvement techniques which have taken things further, most recently resulting in Six Sigma. While zero defects is a useful idea, be aware that you may have to go much further nowadays if you want to lead your market in terms of quality of delivery.